Hi everyone, I've moved on to making the wings for the slowpoke. So I'll just take you through some of the basic steps that I've done for that. Most of this was covered off in the Millie Bob video. And if you're new to the hobby, I recommend you having a look at that and how to make the wing ribs. But in a nutshell, I have created a template of the wing rib. And from that, I have created two plywood templates. And I've cut a hole and drilled a hole, sorry, between the two templates to make sure that they get fully aligned and using pegs I can then peg through all of the balsa that I need to shape. Once the balsa is pinned between the two templates shape it all and then remove the templates and what you're left with are a whole series of absolutely identical wing ribs. Now I'm pretty happy with these wing ribs and how they've, they've come out. They're much larger than the wing ribs that I produced in the Millibob and have a number of additional support spars but uh, in general all of them are absolutely and perfectly aligned all the way down to the end so I'm very happy with those. One of the next steps that I've been doing is creating plywood doublers. Um, these are fairly rough cut at the moment and I've only made four I need to make another four and then I'll trim and shape them and those will sit one on either side of the ring ribs that I've cut and then I'll just cut out the final slot here at the front. I now have all the ply stiffeners for the ribs cut to size and I've organized them on my table, all four of them. And what I'm going to do is assemble them by just putting some PVA glue, just standard wood glue on one side, putting it onto the rib, putting the other side on, and I'm going to use a whole series of these little clamps to hold everything in place. And that will complete the stiffeners on the ribs for the center section. And then I'll go on to the stiffeners, which are for the thicker wing ribs, for, again, for the center section. And there we have it. Once these are dried, I'm just going to chop out the undercarriage mount from the balsa ribs and just tidy up the shaping a little bit, give it a, a very, very light sand just to make sure that it conforms to its shape. And that's that. Thank you for watching.